Well, it's been about a week since I've given you all an update, so I thought I would uh, post a video today. Um, actually, some of y'all actually look forward to them, so that pleases me. Uh, I'm glad some people will appreciate them. Um, just a bottom view, I've got the crank pulley on. I haven't put the belts on. Um, here's the lower idler pulley right here, and so it goes up and down, and that's how it tightens the serpentine belt. The belt runs over the top of it. And then if you look on top, there's a bolt right here at the end of my finger. And that's actually how you adjust the tension on the belt. So leave this loose, adjust the tension till uh, it's nice and tight, and then cinch it down here once you've got it the setting you want. And same with the power steering. Um, as you can see, this pivots on that main bolt. And then uh, this bolt actually cinches it down to the right adjustment so it's just like the other one cinch it down where you want it by putting in your half inch drive into that little fork adjust it tighten it and then uh, tighten that main one down as well so that's it for the belts um, as you can see crank pulleys on and the pan is on um, the starter has been put in along with the transmission support bracket um, here's the starter I thought I'd leave the cover off so you can see the wiring. Here's the main power, which is almost always in red. It's just got a nut that holds it onto the solenoid. And then this is the energizing wire. It just clips in. And then like most grounds on the Mitsubishi's, they're all black and yellow striped wire. Black wire with a yellow stripe. And this bolts into the starter bolt here for your ground. These two wires, there's a yellow and black connector. Uh, these will run to the O2 sensors, so they're color coded even there. And then they'll run along this rail through these two clips. I don't know if you can see that clip very well. And then uh, across to the exhaust. Um, the transfer case is in. I thought I'd uh, show you a picture of that. It actually is clean now, and you can see that it's made up of three pieces. There's the main cast body on the left, and then there's a midsection and then a tail shaft much like you would see on a turbo 350 or 400 in a Chevy so uh, not the best design system but I don't think Mitsubishi ever any, planned anybody to put over 250 wheel horsepower down to the ground on these things so uh, they do the job uh, these are the main five bolts the ones with the red caps on them and then the two shorter ones up in the back if you see that one up top and then one down right below it is that one as well um, I filled the, tran the transfer case while it was on the ground it's got a flat bottom so as long as it's level and then I measured out uh, 270 milliliters and uh, uh, poured it in and made sure that it was a half inch low below the cap so that's the fill and that's the drain right there so this is all together. I replaced the seal. I doubt you'll be able to see anything back in there. Uh, I don't think you'll be able to see anything. But anyway, I replaced the seal. And the half shaft is being put back in. And I still need to stab it through the spindle. Put some uh, high temperature grease here and here on the threads. Don't use a lot, just a little bit. Just keep it from rusting like this. Um, these two bolts are what mount to the strut. The lower bolt is just a regular bolt. But the top bolt's got a camber marking on it, so you don't want to twist these bolts. Putting them on or taking them off, just take the nut off the back and make note of uh, what position it was at. Uh, there's little markers on them and on the uh, strut tower. See that little mark right there? You want to line that up with whatever the mark was on the bolt. And then these, make sure you unbolt these two brackets that hold the uh, speed sensor and the brake line. Um, I just use a coat hanger through the eye and connect it back up to the coil to hold it in place. And uh, just re-stab it, bolt up the two bolts. Sure does save on the ball joints and sometimes they just don't want to come off. And they're getting hard to come by so I just prefer to leave them alone. Um, I'm wrapping up this project. Uh, I'll get the exhaust on and the next video I'll uh, wrap up the top end and hopefully she'll be running by then. So uh, thank you everyone for uh, following along 
and we will uh, be back with a top side look in the next video. And uh, thank you for watching. Stay tuned.